हाय एवरीवन हाय हाय सुजाता हाय हाय एवरीवन हाँ ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच आई एम आल्सो वेरी हैप्पी टू बी अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस अगला टाइम इन मंडल ग्रुप एंड टुडे कंडक्ट दिस सेशन या वील वेट फॉर एटलिस्ट फाइव मिनट्स लेट एवरीबॉडी जॉइन एंड देन ओनली वील स्टार्ट द सेशन so in the meantime i'll just tell something about myself so and then when it was most of the people after 5 minutes only we'll start the session okay so a very warm welcome to agriya tamil mandal uh, group members i welcome you all uh, this is mamta gupta the owner and founder of mamta creations welcome you you all to this creative sessions of applic apron making so i hope all of you are fine and safe so basically uh all of us are creative and in this creative session we all are going to make something best out of waste so basically uh the apron what we are teaching you today is uh, you don't need to buy any material for that you can make it out for a kurti or a cotton 90 the material what you use for your apron see that it is cotton preferably cotton and uh, and that's uh, all uh, any cloth which you think you have at home and you can recycle it so basically we are recycling our old kurtis and 90s to create this uh, apron today and apron is such a thing that all women good evening arsu thank you for joining uh and apron is such a thing that all of us all women we need today we all most of the women uh, due to this pandemic is working from home and as a working uh, women when you are working um you need a uh, when you are working and then at the simultaneously being a working woman you are in the kitchen you are cooking food uh, hi renu welcome uh i am making today uh, apron out of own lighty and uh, uh kurtis so basically any straight kurti or any old cotton lighty you can use and make a apron out of it it is very easy and it is a no stitch apron you don't need to stitch you just need to have few products so once uh, more people join i'll show you the products needed and then we'll start the session so basically the apron if it is in cotton you are safe while you are wearing and cooking food and the purpose of the apron is there we are most of our women here are working so you wear your official outfit and you are working on your laptop or you are in uh, working at home and in between you go uh, to the kitchen to do some work to off uh, cook, cook so simultaneously uh, hi rekha thank you for joining so simultaneously you are working in the kitchen and you are also working work from home so that time you are you have to be uh, when you are in office meeting or you are in office uh, along with your colleagues and boss you have to be presentable and then you are in your uh, best outfit and that time uh, if a apron is there you wear your apron and you go to the kitchen and you work so your dress and all will be safe the masalas and the oils and all whatever you have in the kitchen they won't get onto your dress so uh when you go to the kitchen you wear the apron and you cook in the kitchen and when you come out the uh, out of the kitchen you just remove your apron your dress on as it is fresh as you are at a, at a office so that's the main purpose and so it is a must for every house for every woman so we are going to make a apron today and i have uh, taken one straight kurti uh this is a kurti my old kurti so i am going to make a apron from this old straight kurti so basically uh, i wanted to tell you that uh, some of your cotton kurtis which you are having at home and you are not wearing it you can make a apron out of that it is very easy you don't need to stitch it 
and the basic materials what we will be needing, we will be needing to make the apron are uh, fabric glues. So you need fabric glue and you need uh, the acrylic colors. Acrylic colors, uh, fabric acrylic colors can be the blue bottle also. And if you don't have the blue bottle, blue cap, you can also go for the normal acrylic colors. So if you have this blue bottle, go for this big, uh, blue bottle, this soft acrylic. This is meant for fabric. Uh, this is also meant for fabric and other surfaces also. But you can use this also if you don't have the blue cap. And then basically we need some 3D outliners. Uh, any color of your choice to highlight your uh, applique work. So you need 3D outliners. And some metallic colors and some uh, pearl colors to highlight your work. So you need some metallic colors and some pearl colors to highlight your work. So these are the products we will be needing. So once again, I'll show you the products. So the acrylic colors and basically the 3D outliners, few 3D outliners so that you can add uh, extra, uh, uh, extra outlining and dots and other things on your applique work after sticking them up. Basically fabric glue for sticking your lace, anything you can stick with this fabric glue and believe me it won't come out. Uh, there is a procedure for sticking it which I am going to show you. So stick in that way and it won't uh, come out and these are basically the 3D outliners which you need to outline uh, your work. So now basically and, uh, and then we have this uh, acrylic color set. Suppose uh, uh, we have this acrylic uh, color set so you can highlight, you can put some colors. It can be acrylic colors or it can be your favorite hobby ideas, acrylic colors, metallic colors or pearl colors. Uh, to highlight your work, suppose somewhere you want to uh, create so more, more dimension in your applique, you can use these colors. Now, and uh, basically, uh, uh, what are the things which we can recycle and reuse? Now, uh, I'll just uh, tell you the measurement of the... Uh, now, there is two ways if you are working with applique, applique uh, work, uh, two things you should keep in the mind. If your base cloth is plain, Try to do the applique in a printed cloth. If your uh, apron, you are cutting and making and stitching in a printed cloth, make the applique work in a plain cloth. So this applique is basically uh, where one piece of cloth is cut and stuck on another piece of cloth and uh, you create some pattern uh, by sticking the cloth on uh, another base of cloth. So applique work is basically very very uh, famous and in most part of Gujarat, uh, all over India in Gujarat and in Odisha, the Pipli applique is very famous and then we have this Katwa applique which is uh, usually in UP and all. So all over India applique work is done but in different name, different state in India have different names for the applique work like the applique work of uh, Odisha is known as the Pipli and the applique work of uh, uh, UP and all is known as the Katwa art. And then we have this uh, applique work, uh, uh, so different states have different. Uh, okay, thank you. Thank you, Suzada. Uh, Suganda Priya Santos, thank you, ma'am. Uh, I want to give you a clear view that what we are going to do and how we should proceed. What is, the, uh, what is about this art? So applique work all over India, it is done. And in different states, it is done in different, by different names. So basically, uh, yeah, we'll start now, ma'am. So as I told you, you can take an uh, old kurti or you can take a uh, cotton kurti or you can take an ID and convert into an apron. So I'm doing today from a old kurti. So I have an old kurti which is plain in color. So since I, my kurti is plain, so the applique work which I am going to do on the kurti, I'll make the apron uh, in a plain, uh, in this plain kurti. And the applique work, what I'll do. Hi, Raja Lashmi. Thank you for joining. Thank you all of you for joining. Please share this in uh, different groups and different platforms so that more and more people join and they are benefited by this session. If you're able to share, if the share option is there, so that more and more people join this session and uh, more, uh, more and more people are benefited by this session. Okay. So here it is. Uh, I just put the thing towards the table and explain you how to, uh, what is the measurement for the cutting for the apron, okay? Now, so here it is. 
Uh, I'll just put it towards the table. So this is my kurti. Can you see? This is my kurti. So if you are taking the cloth for the kurti, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, please share the live link to your network so that more and more people join and more and more people are benefited by this session. So this is a plain kurti. You have to take measure the kurti from this side, from the end of the kurti, from down of the kurti to here, 32 inches. So the length of the apron is 32 inches and the width will be as much as your kurti. Okay. So I'm going to cut 32 inches from here to here. I'll take 32 inches and then cut the cloth. So from down, always when you are making a apron from this uh, kurti, measure it from down. So from down, I'm measuring it 32 inches. So I have taken this here and at 32, I put one uh, point. One minute. I'll just show you. So at 32 inches, we are putting a point at 32 inches. So this is 32. From down, uh, the length of your apron is 32 inches. Always this is the standard length of the apron, 32 inches. Uh, both the side, I will be taking 32 inches. So this side also, I will measure 32 inches. One minute. So this side of the also the cloth, I am going to measure it 32 inches and I will cut the piece out. The width is uh, according to your kurti, whatever is the standard width of the kurti, we will keep that. We will not uh, uh, reduce or increase anything. So this is also, but see that your kurti is a straight kurti. Go for a straight kurti uh, or slightly A line will also do, but don't go for umbrella kurti or something like this kurti. Uh, the, uh, the kurti what you are uh, doing is should be so this side also I am taking 32 inches so 32 inches and 32 inches I am going to cut this out so this is 32 inches of mine here so I am going to cut this cloth out and then of course I will show you how to draw the neck and the armhole for your apron that is very very important so so I just the length of the the length of the apron which I am going to make today is 32 inches so fold it like this just fold it uh, lengthwise and we'll draw the neck and the armhole for your for your apron okay so we are just uh, folding it and see this is the folded side the close folded side your neck will come is your neck side and the open uh, folded side is your armhole side of your apron okay so now so we'll bring it here we'll show you here what i will do i will just try to make this cloth a bit straight so that we'll just create cut it straight so i'm just cutting it straight first so that uh, from top also i'll get straight down already it is straight so, okay, done. Now, uh, from the folded side, uh, I think we should be able to do. Yeah, I think you should. You, which is very easy from the folded side. This is the folded side. Remember, this is the folded side. The folded side, you have to take 5 inches only. Here to here, 5 inches. Year to year, 5 inches. Now, where the 5 inches is ending, from there you put your measuring it up and straight down you take at 10 inches. Straight down you take at 10 inches. Okay? Now, here it is 10 inches. So, you draw, you draw a straight line, you draw a straight line, a right angle here. We are going to make the armhole. So from the year to year 5 inches, year to year 10 inches. When the 10 inches end here, you pull, you make a right angle. From here to year, you take towards the open area. Take a straight line towards the open area. So you get a right angle here. In this right angle, just create a curve here. So I think I just I, I will just take another uh, marker pen so that it is more visible to all of you. Yeah. Now 
just see here so first first draw the straight line year to year is 5 i am writing it down here year to year is 5 inches year to year is 10 inches year and then after 10 inches you have to just take this straight towards the open area okay so straight towards the open area now in this area just from this area you try to just create one curve like this for your armhole this is your armhole so this has to be this open area has to be cut out i will cut that area out so you have to cut it out so you have to cut and make the armhole of your apron done now so i'll just open and show you just look at the shape of your apron this is your apron here this is your neck area straight it will come straight on your show uh, on in the, below your neck and we'll put the rope here and this is uh, your armhole here one rope will come here and another rope will come towards this armhole okay and so this is how the cutting of the apron has to be done i'll just uh, pull it out and show you from top to bottom so here it is a straight neck it which has to be square don't go for round u or any neck it has to be square straight square straight line and the curve here and the curve here and you go on pulling and making it till down so this is your this is the total length as i told you is 32 inches and width is whatever is your kurti you take the width and and then year to year from the close and year to year 5 inches where the 5 inches end there you take 10 inches and put a straight line uh, towards the armhole and cut it and make the armhole okay till here the cutting have i have already done for one piece for all of you and i will show you how it has come so this is the same cloth the one uh, the back side of the kurti i have taken and i have uh, attached rope and all i'll explain you how to attach the rope and how to attach the lace and everything so i have done all these things so that i can do the applique work on this and show you okay so here it is now can you see here this armhole this neck and this thing okay and the thing like this so all these uh, what we have to do take fabric glue and i'll show you how to attach your uh, how to attach uh, basically how i attach this one i'll just explain you and then i'll come back to this again now see so what you will do first you uh, these ropes uh, basically you get ready made ropes uh, colored ropes uh, which you use in your uh, in, uh, in skirts and also which you uh, if you have in your in skirt any uh, uh, rope uh, you can pull those ropes out so i have just pulled out to pull this rope from one of my kurtis uh, it was a hanging for my kurti i pulled this cotton rope out of that so you can what you can do so basically first you have to one rope you have to put here another rope you have to put here put the rope one rope here one rope here for the neck two rope let it be open so you can adjust them according to your neck size and then we have to put one rope in here and one rope here so four ropes for the apron will come so what you have to do basically i'll explain you i had one rope here how to first put the rope with fenicol and then start putting yeah suppose this is your rope so first you have to put your i will explain you how to put your rope i'll just small small pieces i will cut and i'll put and show you how to attach your rope uh, how you should place your rope and then how to place the lace on top of that okay now this side don't put the rope like this uh, for the armhole side don't put the rope like this put the rope like this both the side it should be both the side take nicely uh, fabric glue no need of stitching so just take fabric glue and put your first put your nicely your ropes so this rope has to go this way then we come to this uh, rope this row has to go straight upwards okay it has to go uh horizontal 
this has to go vertical for the armhole it has to go vertical like this you have to place it vertically for the armhole which is uh, vertical to you and uh, this uh, neck area you have to place the rope uh, the length of the rope uh, can be 10 cent uh, 10 inches to 12 inches that is one scale the length of this rope can be 10 inches to 12 inches you can use lace also you can use any rope any jadi rope any rope or any cotton string whatever you have at home so i just pulled this string from one of my uh, even lot of blouses you have where you have this uh, tarsal and you are not using it no more you are using the rope in the blouses you can take out those uh, tarsal blouses and you can use them even in your kurtis or even in your in inners there are these ropes are there so i have just pulled one of my from one of my kurtis uh, which i no longer am using it i am using it i have used them here okay now uh, so after sticking this in the four corners you have let them dry up so you have to give them little drying time and then take the lace whichever lace you want now uh, now put the lace in the edges of the in the edges of the in the edges of the uh, uh, thing you ap uh, apply the lace and try to keep the lace very close to the cloth covering the edges of the cloth also so you have to stick them properly nicely and then after sticking them you have to go on sticking all over all around so in this way first i have attached the ropes and then in this way all over i have attached the lace so you have to attach the lace and keep it for drying so once you attach the lace you have to leave it for drying for at least for uh, might be uh, two to three hours once they dry up then only uh, you should do the applique work on top because uh, you have to stick it properly see that the edges are not visible stick it properly taking it along the curves that uh, covering the edges and then after this you can cut it out here and again again put glue on this and take straight to your neck so this way how i have this is the way how i have stuck the lace to the cloth so you have to uh, stick the lace and leave it for drying after it dries up for fixation uh, sometimes you can iron it for fixation so that is not an issue or after finishing all your work you can iron your cloth so we have to leave this for drying so as uh, this much i have completed now i'll show you the applique work okay i hope it's clear to all of you use fabric glue uh, stick the rope and stick the lace okay now so we have already stuck uh, everything here now i'm going to uh, cut the applique and show you how to cut how to make the applique and how to stick the work now the applique uh, we'll make a pocket uh, we'll make a pocket in the center so get the center point of your uh, thing and a rough drawing you do so that uh, uh, i'm going to make a pocket in the form of a pot and inside the pot lot of flowers so we will just check where is our uh, okay so this is the center point place the cloth nicely and get the center point uh, so that you know the center point and in the center point we will have to place the walls so this uh, this is your armhole from the armhole the the, the pocket should start from your navel point so basically we assume it uh, 16 inches from top from the top from the top is 16 inches so this is uh, where your pocket should come so that when you put your hand inside your pocket it goes inside your uh, your hand easily goes inside your pocket so it is from from the top from the neck level here to here it is 16 inches in 16 inches the pocket should end and we'll make the flowers so while wearing it if we put our hand our hand easily goes inside the pocket okay so i just uh, created the point here and now i'm going to make the uh, i have another printed cloth i'm going to cut a pot uh, for a pot here uh, uh, a flower pot and lot of flowers here okay so for that basically we have this cloth here uh, let me get the printed cloth i'll just get the printed cloth and come okay two minutes just give me one minute
So here it is. So slightly uh, whenever you are working with the applique cloth, iron it little so that you don't have any much scratch there. So I'm going to make a flower pot in this, the grey cloth. We have two cloth here. The grey cloth we'll use for the flower pot and the red and yellow cloth I'm going to use for the uh, for the flower, for the uh, uh, leaves and flowers. Okay. So here it is. So we basically we can uh, you can make the pot in the form of a pocket. So your pot will work as a pocket. So here we are. Now what we will do? We will uh, make this straight, and this side also we will uh, make it little bit straight. And slightly, slightly cross we will cut so that your pot looks like a pot. So you can slightly make it cross, slightly cross. So instead of making a straight uh, rectangle, because we want it to look like a pot, so we will make it slightly cross. Okay. So the pot is slightly uh, tapering from the down and wider from the top. Or any, you can cut any shape, you can cut, it's all up to you. So this is basically flower pot. So you can cut any size, it's all up to you. Whichever shop, uh, whichever uh, shape you want, it's all up to you. So here it is. Now what we will do? Done. So uh, just place glue and stick the pot from three sides not from four side we will stick it from three sides one side top will keep it open so if you keep it open it will work as a pocket for you okay so that's all it will be working like a pocket for you you can use as i told you for a plain cloth use printed uh, patchwork and uh, for a uh, Printed, uh, you use a plain patchwork. Okay, so this is the pot here. I want to put a lace here. So this is the pocket area where I want to put the lace. So the pocket area, I will first attach the lace. And then I will, because this side, I don't want to stick in the cloth. So what I will do, first I will attach the lace here. And then we will take it as it is. So here it is, I am just attaching it here till here, okay. So we will keep it for drying, might be a if all the three sides you want to attach, I don't want to spend time now in attaching anyhow, I have to attach the lace for all the three sides. So I don't want to spend time now, so what I will do, I will basically I will basically use it as a, I, the other two sides I will uh, do it afterwards. So what I will do, I will just now three sides, I am going to just put it in the center of the thing and I am going to attach uh, three sides, I am going to fix the thing. Okay. So this is the how the placement will come in the center of this and uh, so three sides I will just put the glue. And I will attach it up. So what you will do? Gently put glue on this cloth inner side. And then place it on your cloth. The inner side you place the glue nicely. Not in this side. Don't put in this side. This is the. This should be open because it is your pocket. It will have. Be, it will have like. If you can use it as a pocket. Okay. So now, what we will do? We will put it here in the center of the thing of your apron. In the center, you can attach. And of course, we are supposed to add here. So nicely, spread it nicely. 
and attach it okay so uh, now this area we have to put lace here also so we can attach the lace and just leave it for drying put glue just one thin line of glue and attach the lace on top of that and leave it for drying so that was the reason why we have put the thing like this okay so uh, just put the glue nicely and you attach your see that there is no wrinkles attach your uh, lace properly or you can also cut a cloth lace i'll teach you how to make your own cloth lace if you don't have lace like this but uh, lace like this they look nice and uh, i will teach you also in the end how to make your own cloth lace so we can cut in uh, some pattern in cloth and we can uh, like borders like spirals and uh, like uh, curves and uh, triangles uh, in a uh, running cloth and you can attach it like a lace you can create your own lace so i am basically using this okay and then we have this area also so i am basically trying to pull them up okay so here it is so we will just uh, put some glue nicely so that it overlap and stick okay done so the pocket is ready remember this side we have not add, that's why we didn't add, add glue here so this is this side is open you can put anything inside your pocket can you see i can put my hand inside so that was the reason i had put the lace first here and then put glue only on three side and i have stuck in the pocket area so your pockets are done now we will make the flowers and the leaves and then after that we will highlight it we'll cut and stick them and highlight it you can make any flowers and any leaves and any pattern a very easy flowers and leaves i'm going to teach you a big big flowers i'm going to make a lot of leaves i'm going to make so basically we will make a so i will uh, make a uh, we'll take this uh, cloth here and we'll make uh, big big flowers here so might be uh, here we will take okay so simple flowers we can uh, cut and make and uh, four fold flowers we make so here it is and uh, the fold you can even make uh, petals like flower like sunflower so basically anything you can make it's all up to you or you can cut uh, two types of flowers i'll show you one is a uh, row uh, like a uh, petal petal flower and the other will be like a so same way you can cut the leaves also so basically these are all ah so ah so here they are now so random uh, put glue and stick them stick the flowers all around so you have to put nicely glue uh, i'm just uh, putting glue little little glue and trying to arrange and put but you should put glue very nicely and put and arrange so like this arrange them properly or what you can do in the edges yeah that will be better take glue put in the edges so your edges basically you don't need to put in the centers the edges they get uh, when you put uh, glue like this in the edges automatically your cloth gets stuck instead of putting it on this cloth you put in the edges of your leaves like this and you can stick them up so basically random i will stick uh, big big flowers uh, overlap and stick them so how many i have cut 1 2 3 and four so this four i have one two three four five six i'm going to attach them overlap and create one flower okay so basically so and then uh, we are while sticking them overlap them see that they overlap each other okay 
and any cloth you can use. Uh, so basically, what we will do, we uh, we don't want to uh, close the pocket, so you can put this one inside, so that it doesn't uh, your pocket doesn't close. Remember that. Don't let your flower petal come on the pocket. If it comes on the pocket, you won't be able to use your pocket. Okay. So, and one more we will cut here. Done. Now, so basically here we will put one circle. Uh, might be a grey color circle. I will put or anything, any color. And then we will uh, basically. Uh, then oval uh, might be an oval around shape circle so that it looks like a ball here in the center and you can put it and of course you can highlight it with your uh, lines so here it is so we will put a little bit here glue and stick the so this of course has to be highlighted with your 3d outliners so while sticking it see that you don't get any wrinkles spread it nicely Spread the cloths very nicely to the surface and stick it to the surface. But the down cloth and the top cloth both has to be spread nicely. And there should be no wrinkles in the cloth. If it is there, before it is soft, you should uh, uh, check it out. Okay. So, basically, you have to uh, pull, uh, both the uh, material has to be pulled and done. Uh, so that you don't get any wrinkles in anywhere. Okay, so basically uh, we have done it. Now we will put it, uh, put this ball in the center. So same way you will, one more flower we will put here and then of course we will put some leaves. So one more big flower we will make like this and we will make a leaf also. All of you can, uh, this is basically, you have to make a apron and share here in this uh, uh, ATM group and also in uh, in uh, in our Facebook uh, page or in, you can WhatsApp me on 9840724819. There is a competition going on. So whoever makes the best uh, apron will be the winner and we'll have a gift for him, uh, a gift for them from our side. So please create an apron. Uh, in the method which we have taught you and share it here in the ATM group and also in the uh, and WhatsApp us on 9840724819 so we can basically uh, create uh, we can basically create uh, one, two, three, four, eight. so in this way you can uh, make an apron and share with uh, others so all will get lot of ideas uh, because everybody is creative here and you will be using your own ideas to make the thing. So please uh, make a piece and share with us. Even in this group and also in the. And also in the. Uh, in this group and also in WhatsApp. Uh, and WhatsApp to us on 98407. So the best three aprons will be uh, gifted uh, from us. We are going to share, uh, gift all of you. Uh, one of our uh, paid session. Totally free. So, do uh, make a apron and share with us. So, here it is. So, we are fixing the next flower. I hope all of you uh, will surely make one because the materials are easily available at home. You don't need to go hunting for any of this material. Most of you will be having this material at home. So, it is basically a designer, uh, 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 a designer, a uh, designer, uh, apron for you which you can make and it will be useful also so at home you can use it so they and it is easy to make so we have a very easy method and very easy materials we have told you and of course we are going to highlight this with our paint and color so additional paint and colors can be used to highlight your work which we are going to do so basically we will be doing it to highlight the work 
so so to uh, any flower you can cut you can make like cut and make flower like this or you can make any whatever you want so it's all up to you so there is no hard and fast rule what type of flower you want to make applique work uh, this is very very simple applique which we are doing it and uh, uh, lot of other works are there in applique so so we finished two flowers and now here and there we'll put some leaves so then uh, your aprons will be ready and then with the 3d outliner you have to highlight your design and you have to add some uh, dimension to your design and highlight your work so basically we are going to use the 3d outliner to highlight your work so basically this leaf has to go inside we don't want to bring it though it is a uh, big and it's coming on top of the pocket we don't want to bring on top of the pocket we want to take it inside so as we told so and then we are going to put a circle here for the circle here for the round circle so let's uh, make the round one small round for the center of the flower and very easy method of coloring i am going to show you so that your work will look more nice and you don't have to put much effort so here's the center part done few leaves i'll make i won't make much leaves because uh, uh, or might be the leaves i will do with the 3d outliner so let me use the 3d outliner and make some leaves and uh, some paint and all and highlight our work okay so what you can do you can directly take the 3d outliner here and use your finger can you see and i am going to make some leaves out of the 3d outliner i'm just going to just paint them up you can also work with your cloth or if you want you can just make out of this so i am not in in place of this you can use also your cloth so i am just uh, i just want to take a uh, see you can create some ferns some leaves like this so so that your uh, little bit more dimension you can add to your work so i am just making some leaves here here and there with the 3d outliner i just pull pull scoop them out and i am making so so we are basically uh, adding some uh, petals here so just pull pull your finger inwards and make some petals like this okay you can even cut some cloth and put but uh, we don't want to cut some cloth and put so we are just making free hand some leaves here so that when it dries up you can add little dimension to your work okay so basically uh, be careful the thing might get stuck down so because the 3d outliner is slightly gluey so it might get stuck here so just add some leaves here and there so we are just adding some leaves here and there okay so you can basically use a brush also if you are not very comfortable take a brush with the brush you can do so with the brush you can do see how nice it is becoming with the brush just take a brush and put the 3d outliner and make some leaves here and there paint with your 3d see so we are just making some petals uh, leaf like petal here and there so that uh, your flowers get some leaves here okay so basically now uh, 
so this is a golden uh, color here so we are highlighting the thing with the golden color when it dries up it will look more nice so when it dries up it will look more nice you can highlight this design also we can highlight this design also so it's all up to you what you want to do and however you want to do so basically we can highlight it just uh, take it little more down so you can have a look more closer look so we have not yet completed it's little more higher we'll do uh, uh, outline work and we'll try to complete this so so that it looks more nice okay uh, we have to do a little bit of outline work here so just wait So as it is, however you want to attach, you can add some bushes in the background. So uh, these things can be also done in uh, fabric, but uh, I am doing it in uh, 3D. So you can do also in fabric. So we basically want to use uh, the 3D and see the 3D paint. They look very nice. So basically we wanted to use and show you like how you can paint with your 3D paint. Okay. Now. Uh, just use a black uh, or some dark color 3D outliner and we have to uh, create, create some lines on this. So the nozzles sometimes get stuck so you uh, always be ready with safety, safety pins to open the nozzle and then work with it. So yeah done. Now look here uh, all these designs what is there I am highlighting it with the 3D. So it's your creativity you can do something or the other what you want to enhance your work. Anything you can do according to the pattern or the design what you have stuck, you can do anything. I am basically, uh, yeah, I am basically trying to highlight uh, the pattern what is there on this pot. Usually many pots will have some design. So basically I am trying to highlight the design on the pot. So you can, uh, if your uh, pot is plain, you do anything whatever you like. So there is nothing like that. Okay, so there it is. So what we can do here, a small uh, thing has fallen down. So what you can do, you can take, make a small circle or a triangle and place it there. Or oval shape and place it there. So the... Uh, basically yeah. so the 3d itself uh, acts for sticking so if you put little 3d and you put your uh, cloth there it sticks up so basically they act for sticking purpose also so you can create again with some pattern you can cut on this and you can create some design here by sticking the cloth in the plane you can create your design so these are basically I'm sharing the techniques with you here also suppose if I put some flower I'll show you you can put a flower here and you can cut it out uh, basically uh, take some yellow color cloth and uh, 
uh, small flowers like uh, just zigzag we will cut and try to uh, oval and zigzag all the sides and try to create some flower just by cutting some curls and like this so or some heart shape you can put so the 3d itself acts for sticking purpose you can put the 3d and you can put the cloth and then you can use the fabric glue also and then you can around it you can create some design so basically uh, what we mean to say that the 3d is also can be used for sticking and coloring purpose and also for designing okay so we have designed this now these leaves i am going to highlight with this red color and i am going to try to give some dimensions to my work by the three, by using the 3d here so all of you please give a try and do make a very sharp i am not going to make because the leaves are very uh, uh, not very sharp they are very rough since it is applique it's not painted so i am just putting a very a rough outline so that my uh, okay so just i am just highlighting the work by just adding a little rough outline with this red uh, you can use any color dark green also you could have used but red was there so i have used red also you can use copper gold whichever color you have you can use so basically uh, we are just giving a outline to the leaves what we have done so that they look more like a leaf okay and same for here also so whatever leaves we have drawn here we are just giving some outline with the 3d and as i told you if you don't have a applique cloth you can take white cloth paint with your acrylic color and you can cut patches in that that way also you can make your own patches suppose you don't have cloth you have white cloth at home take white cloth paint it with fabric color and then cut the flowers out of that okay so done and then here one is left so we are going to create there also and of course since it is your customized uh, three uh, our uh, this one what you can do you can always uh, write in this a slogan how you feel when you are cooking in your kitchen you are happy or whatever it is you can do so contrast we can put here some contrast outliner we can put for the leaves so that the leaves look nice okay so i am putting this yellow color where did my pin go yeah i have this yellow color here outliner so 3d outliner i am going to outline the all the petals highlight all the petals okay so this basically also we can fill in this yellow color so that it looks nice so if you want to fill also you can fill the color and you can create the design okay so basically inside this we can give a dot inside this we can give a dot and here we can give a dot here also we can give a dot and here also we can give a dot now we will come to the flowers so for the flowers also i am supposed to do the outline i'm going to outline the flowers the nozzle is not coming on wait we need to clean the nozzle i hope all of you are liking it and surely will give a try so surely give a try and share with us in okay so here it is done so we are basically uh, here it is so i am just giving small outlines which you can do also with paint if you have a fabric paint you can do with brush also but with the 3d outliner it is easy to do okay so same way a few lines for here also just to highlight your outline
So all of you can give a try and please share a share a work with us. Okay. So that's all. Ah, done. So almost it is completed. So I'll just bring it more down and uh, so that you have a uh, more closer look of the applique work. And please give a try and make a uh, applique work like this. And let me make some space here so that I can push them more down and uh, the whole applique work is visible to you. One minute. Here it is. So the apron is ready. Uh, it's looking very colorful and very nice. Uh, happy cooking. If you want to write some slogan here, you can write a happy cooking, your enjoy cooking, whatever it is. Suppose if you enjoy cooking, you can write I enjoy cooking. So this is the apron here. We have completed. Hope all of you like it. And do give a try. And if any doubt and any uh, clarification you have, the glue we have to put here some more. This is opening a little bit. Slightly we will put here. So it got disturbed so it is opening. So anyhow you can stick them up. Okay. Here it is. So here is the apron. Let me push it a little more back so that you can have a clear view. Ah. So this is the apron here. So all of you have, a, I think it's a nice, very beautiful and very colorful. All of you will surely give a try. I want to write a slogan. I love cooking. I enjoy cooking. So happy cooking. When I'm cooking, I'm really, very, very happy. Like many people are very happy when they cook. Uh, and basically when they try new recipes. So it's a stress buster for many people. Uh, when they are tired, they'll go inside the kitchen and they'll cook something different and something very tasty, what they want to eat. And good food is always a uh, stress buster. So all of you do give it a try and let us know. Okay. Any doubt and any clarification you have, please let me know. I am ready to clear your doubts. So here it is. So here, here the it is open. One minute. Yeah. The pocket is open. So we can keep something inside the pocket. Uh, so we have opened the packet here and if you want to write here master chef or anything with the 3d outline itself we can write so let me write something that is also one option so you can write your child name here suppose if you are making this apron for your daughter or son you write his or her name here and uh, I want to write happy cooking so let me get the 3d outliner and I'll write with the 3d outliner itself you can write so basically it will stay So in an artistic way, I'll write here, happy cooking. I basically enjoy cooking, so I'm going to write with the 3D outliner, you can write. So I'm usually very, very happy when I cook. I love to have food and that to good food and different uh, cuisines. So I'm writing here, happy Okay. Yeah, master chef, whatever you want to write. So with the 3D outliner itself, you can write. So basically, the 3D outliner it itself, it will dry up and it will work as a uh, thing for you. It will work as a uh, thing. Uh, uh, so it will work as uh, basically, so you can darken it again. Suppose if the writing is very light, we can put one more coat of outliner and we will darken it again. And I'm going to give you a straight view. I lift up the camera and give you a straight view from downwards so that you can have a look. How does the finished product look? So all of you, please give a try. It is a competition going on. Please share your apron with us here in the ATM group. And also, you can WhatsApp us on 9840724819. So, the best apron will be 
uh, awarded from us. So we conduct lot. Basically, uh, uh, I am the owner and founder of Mamta Creations, which runs art, craft, and hobby and culinary, cooking, and skill center in Chennai. So basically, uh, okay. So here is your happy cooking, and I'll just lift the camera and show you from this side. So all of you can have a look. See how beautiful it is looking. So I hope all of you liked it. And any questions if you have, let me know. I am ready to take care of your questions. Before we wind up. So if you have any doubt regarding this session, let us know. I'll, I'll, I'll be taking up your questions if you have any doubt and any clarifications. Okay. So one minute. Okay, great. Uh, thanks. Thank you, Sujata, for giving us this opportunity. And thank you, all ATM uh, group members, uh, for joining us. And do make an apron and share with us here in the ATM group and also in the, uh, also in the, and also in the WhatsApp group. So there is a competition going on. The best. Uh, apron uh, designer will be awarded from us so we are basically uh, running an art craft and hobby center by the name of mamta creations in uh, chennai you can check our youtube channel www.mamtacreations.com uh, sorry you can check our website www.mamtacreations.com you can check our youtube channel mamta creations chennai you can check our uh, facebook page mamta creations and also our instagram handle mamta.gupta Thank you for the love and the support you, all of you have given us. Uh, thank you, Sujada, for giving us this opportunity. Love you all. Take care. And do share your creation with us. Thank you once again. Bye-bye. All of you, take care. Oh, sure. I will wear and show one minute. Yeah. I will wear that and show it to all of you. Here it is. Still it is wet, but still I am just trying to put it and show you, show it to all of you. Uh, it is very, it is wet now. So let me, the writing, whatever I have written is slightly ulta, I think so. No issues in that. Gently I have. So here it is. So here is the apron here. With the applique work and the pocket, how it is. So here's the pocket here and the apron. So how, how it is all of you? Uh, how it is? Can I have some likes and hearts here? I hope all of you liked it. Very simple and easy. Do give a try and do make and share with us. Okay. So here it is. So how much length you want, how height you want. You can adjust it from the neck uh, thing. And this is your uh, thing area. And the pocket has come correct. As I told you, near your label, it has to come. So it has correctly come. Okay. So that's all. I wore and showed it to you. So bye-bye. All of you take care. Love you all. So do share your creation with us. Bye-bye. Take care.